am Ma'am Emily F. Mateo from Taytay Senior High School. My students call me Ma'am Mateo. Our topic for today is relate the definition of derivative to the slope of the tangent line. Let us recall first the two formulas. Remember that the slope of the tangent line to a given function is m is equal to the limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0, which is, of course, also the derivative, the definition of the derivative of a function which is f prime of x sub 0 is also equal to the limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. So meaning to say, when we say of course, derivative of a function, actually we are just getting the slope of the tangent line to the given function. Remember that the tangent line should be, of course, tangent, of course, to the graph of the given function. They are the same. So how are we going to evaluate this one? If we will evaluate this one, as you can see, we have a function and, of course, a point. This one is the x sub 0. We can find for the f of x sub 0 there and then we'll get the m or the slope or we get the derivative they are the same let's do it so i will be using of course this one so this one is f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1 at x is equal to 2 so meaning to say our x sub 0 is equal to 2 so let us find now f of x sub 0, which is f of 2. Substitute all the x's here. This is 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 1. So we have 4 minus 8 plus 1. So f of 2, therefore, is equal to 5 minus 8 is negative 3. So our f of x sub 0 is equal to negative 3. Okay, so negative 3. So applying this in either the first or the second formula, of course, we will be getting the slope of the tangent line or the derivative of, of course, the first derivative of the given function. So let's do it. So, this is m, which is also equal to f prime of x sub 0 is equal to the limit of, our limit of f of x is x squared minus 4x plus 1, and our f of x sub 0 is negative 3 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. Okay. So our m now or f of prime x sub 0 is equal to the limit of x squared minus 4x plus 1 plus 3 over x minus 2. So as x approaches 2, we can now simplify it as x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x minus 2 x approaches 2. So, this one is factorable as, of course, square of binomial. Get the square root. This one is a PST, a perfect square trinomial, and can be factored as x minus 2 squared over x minus 2. You can cancel this. So, what is left is we have uh, x minus 2 over of course 1 so therefore this one is our m and we will be replacing of course our x by 2 that is m is equal to negative 2 or 2 rather 2 minus 2 so our m 
is equal to 0. So our first derivative is also 0. Okay, because 2 minus 2 is 0. Example number 2, our x sub 0 is equal to 0. So our f of x is equal to 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 2x plus 7. So this one is our x sub 0. Okay, so let us find first our f of x sub 0. So this is f of 0. We have 2, 0 raised to 4 plus 0 cubed minus 2 times 0 plus 7. 0, 0, 0, f of 0 is equal to 7. So this one is 7. Okay. So after this, of course, we will be using the formula again for the derivative or for the slope of the tangent line. It's the same. So we have f prime of x sub 0 is equal to the limit of 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 2x plus 7 minus 7 over x minus 0 as x approaches of course 0. So our f prime of 0 or the m, the slope of the tangent line, this is the limit of, this one is 0, we have 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 2x over x minus 0 is x as x approaches 0. Let us simplify it. This one is, we can factor out the x here. This is 2x raised to 3 plus 3x squared minus 2. Okay. And then over x. As x approaches 0, this will be cancelled. And then replacing all x's by 0, so that is 2 times 0 cubed plus 3 times 0 squared minus 2. So therefore, the answer here is negative 2. So that is our m or our f prime of 0. Example 3, we have f of x is equal to square root of 2x plus 7 x sub 0 is equal to 1. Let us find now f of x sub 0. So this is f of 1 equals square root of 2 times 1 plus 7. This one is 2 plus 7 is 9. f of 1 is of course 3. Okay, so this one is 3. Now let us now go to of course the m or the derivative that is f of prime of 1 that is equal to the limit of square root of 2x plus 7 minus 3 okay over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 so this is equal now to, let us simplify it by rationalizing, of course, the numerator, 2x plus 7 minus 3 times 2x plus 7 plus 3. Okay, so multiply both. This one is multiplication, square root of 2x plus 7 plus 3 get the conjugate so this one is over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 so this is now multiply this the radical sign will be removed square root of 2x plus 7 times square root of 2x plus 7 is simply 2x plus 7 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 this one is x minus 1 times square root of 2x plus 7 plus 3. Okay. So, I will be using, of course, bracket here. As x approaches 1. Let us simplify. This is the limit of 2x minus 2 over x minus 1 
times square root of 2x plus 7 plus 3. So x approaches 1. Now, how are we going to simplify this? Remember that we can simplify it by factoring the numerator. The numerator is, of course, factorable as this one is the m or f prime of 1. That is equal to the limit of 2x minus 1. I get the CMF over x minus 1 multiplied by square root of 2x plus 7 plus 3 as x approaches 1. So this will be canceled now. And then we are now ready to, of course, substitute 1 in place of, of course, the x's. So this one is equivalent to 2 over square root of 2 times 1 plus 7 plus 3. So our m or the slope of the tangent line is equal to 2 over this one is 2 plus 7 is 9 square root of 9 is 3 that is 3 plus 3. So we have 2 over 6 or simply 1 over 3. That is the derivative of the function. Example number 4. We have f of x is equal to x over x plus 4. Our x of 0 is equal to negative 3. Okay, so let us find f of x sub 0. This is f of negative 3 is equal to negative 3. Negative 3 plus 4. This is negative 3 over 1. So negative 3 over 1 is, of course, that is negative 3, 2. Now, let us get now the limit of this. Or the derivative or the slope of this, this is m or that is f prime of x sub 0 is equivalent to the limit of x over x plus 4 minus negative 3 over x minus negative 3 as x approaches negative 3. So our m now is equal to the limit of x we cross multiply here that will become plus 3 that is plus 3 that is x plus 4 over of course x plus 4 and this one becomes x plus 3 as x approaches negative 3 so our m therefore is equivalent to the limit of x plus 3, x plus 4, or plus 12, brother, over x plus 4, multiplied by the reciprocal 1 over x plus 3. So as x approaches negative 3. Now, how are we going to simplify this one? So this is equivalent to the limit of 4x plus 12 over x plus 4 x plus 3. Okay. So as x approaches negative 3, we can factor out 4 here. So this is 4 x plus 3, x plus 4, x plus 3. This one will be cancelled. So we have 4 over x plus 4 now. So from there, we can substitute negative 3. That is 4 over negative 3 plus Okay, so we have our m or our the derivative of the function is 4 over 1 and that is 4. So where will I write it? It's here. The derivative of the function is 4. 4 divided by 1 is of course. Example number 5. We have f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 over 4 minus x squared. So our x sub 0 is negative 1. We'll find f of x sub 0. So that is f of negative 1 
negative 1 squared plus 3, 4 minus negative 1 squared. So this is f of negative 1 is equal to 1 plus 3, 4 minus 1, we have 4 over 3. So this one is 4 over 3. Now, let us get the limit of this. By using, of course, the formula for the slope or the derivative. So that will be equal to m or the derivative of the function is equal to the limit of f of x, x squared plus 3 over 4 minus x squared minus 4 over 3 over x minus negative 1 as x approaches negative 1. So this one is equal to, we get the cross product, this is limit of, limit of 3x squared plus 9 minus 16, negative times positive is negative, negative negative plus 4x squared over 3 times 4 minus x squared over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So our m or the der derivative of the function is equal to the limit of, let us simplify it, the limit of 3 plus 4 is 7. 9 minus 16 is negative 7. Let us multiply it. We have 12 minus 3x squared. Okay. Times, of course, the reciprocal that is 1 over x plus 1. As x approaches negative 1. So we can simplify this. This one is 7x squared minus 1 over x plus 1 times 12 minus 3x squared. Okay. So let us simplify it more. This one can be factored as 7x minus 1, x plus 1. This one, x plus 1, 12 minus 3x squared. We can cancel this. So therefore, what is left? We have 7. We have now 7. This is equal to 7. X minus 1 over 12 minus 3x squared. We are, not, we are now ready, of course, to get the limit of this as x approaches negative 1. So that is your m or the derivative of the function. So this one is equal now to 7 times negative 1 minus 1, 12 minus 3, negative 1 squared. So let us simplify it. This one is equal now to 7 times negative 2 over 12 minus 3. 12 minus 3 is 9. This is negative 14 over 9. So that is your m or the derivative of the function. Negative 14.